welcome, uh, my name is Susan Dobson, or Sue Dobson, and I'm the course leader and the teacher of the A-level graphics, uh, graphic communication here at Huddersfield New College. Um, today, um, we are working on our year one introductory projects. Okay, so our project we start with is a project called Food, Glorious Food, and the students have done the following so far. So I've got an example sketchbook here. Uh, we've explored ideas. So we've mind map, explored ideas, uh, we've looked at secondary source samples of food and food imagery, we've taken our own photos, we've explored uh, photography and composition and some editing skills, we have uh, created some hand drawings and renderings so far. Uh, we have then taken that into Photoshop and we have created digital collages in response to an artist, uh, Damon L. Um, Vigno. Uh, we have then created hand collages, which is what we're going to revisit today uh, with our little task. Um, and we've explored many techniques in digital drawings, uh, working in Adobe Illustrator, creating vector drawings and graphic tablet drawings here. So I've got some student examples of what we've done. Some nice examples there. Um, so we've done the following, we're about halfway through our project and today we're going to go back and we're going to revisit some uh, collage techniques. So we're going to work in digital collage, um, predominantly on Photoshop. So I've got three examples of collage artists here on screen. The centre artist here, where we worked with hand collage techniques, um, whose name was Eduardo Recife. Okay, we've got um, Marcel Duchamp over here. Okay, and he created this piece maybe about 100 years ago where he's used hand collage techniques. And then we've got this artist here who is minimal layout and she creates digital collage techniques and you can see how they all link and resemble one another. Okay, so we're going to respond in a digital format today. So we're going to work in Photoshop, we're going to create a new document, uh, we're going to explore cutting and pasting, working with the quick selection tool, the polygon lasso tool. We're going to explore type, textures, layer blends, we're going to liquefy um, imagery and we're going to play with filters such as noise, film grain, half tone, dot, line and circle. And we're going to create a new composition in this style um, of minimal layout. Okay? So, first of all, what I'd like you all to do is log on to Photoshop and create a brand new document in A4. So I'm going to do the same alongside you. Okay? So we're working in, the, in a monochrome style, so we're only going to be using black and white with one additional colour, if we're going to add that on there. Um, we've got pattern backgrounds, the use of type, we've got half tone imagery and we've got loads of layers and layer blends on there, so you'll be familiar with some of these tools. Um, so first of all, what I'd like to do is create the background, so if we could all create this crazy sort of background in, um, on your piece. So open up your new document. Uh, first thing I want you to do is just to double check that we've defaulted uh, to the black and white here on our canvases. So if we just open up on, on Photoshop, um, on our um, toolbar, just down at the bottom, make sure that that's set to black and white. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a filter for this background. So we go to the top, we go select filters, and then we're going to open up the filter gallery, which is the fourth one down. And then from the filter gallery, we're going to select the half tone, um, half tone pattern. So it's just here. So I'm going to select the half tone pattern. OK, so that opens up the window and it's defaulted to the dots on mine. But you can also change that. So we're going to select um, the circle technique and I can press command and minus and we can zoom out and see that that's added there. OK, you can also play with the size of the half tone that we're using and the contrast on your piece there. So have we all done that so far, guys? We've got some backgrounds there, yeah? OK, so I'm going to click OK on here. We've got our backgrounds. And the next thing we're going to do now is liquefy that. So I'm going to open up our filters and I'm going to select liquefy. OK, so just open that up and it'll open up a separate window. On your liquefy um, tools, we can change the size of our liquify brush up here and the pressure of our brush as well. We can slide that along. And all I want you to do is just liquify the background image. So you've got this sort of crazy 
sort of anarchic style happening there. Okay, so we've all got a bit of a background. We've got our backgrounds created. So when we looked at those artists on the slides, they will often use secondary source imagery as well. So they're using imagery of our time. And because we've got our food project on the way, I've got some secondary sources already available. And I've just got some imagery that I'm going to add of our chefs. So I've got a, a clip here, an image of Mary Berry. I'm just going to tick that there. And what I need to do is cut, cut and paste from here so we can add that as a separate layer. Uh, so I'm going to use our quick selection tool here and I'm going to quick select over the image. So I just drag that over the, the image here of Mary. Okay, make sure that I've got all of that. If you've got any extra pieces, which I have, I can just minus that out as well. So I'm just going to minus here. I'm just going to take the top off there. That's something in the background on the head and take out there in between the fingers. <coughs> okay, and I'm going to press Command and C to copy and Command and V and paste and grab the image there. So we've got the image on top and pop that there. And I'm going to then add the filters again. Oh, I'm going to change the color first, sorry. So I'm going to go image adjustments. I want to change her to black and white. So we've got the monochrome happening. So it's just working all in black and white. And then I'm going to go image adjustments and I'm just going to play with our contrast as well on there. So I'm going to change that, play with our contrast. So you can see I've got the brightness and bring in the contrast. So our image becomes a little bit more clearer. And I'm going to add another filter to this again to open the filter gallery. But this time I want to put the half tone dots on there. So I've got the filter, I need to go to half tone pattern and I'm going to add on here the dots. Okay, and click OK. So we've got We've got Mary Berry now in a sort of newsprint half tone sort of texture. So I'll move on to the next part now. So if we look at our example here, um, we've got additional food elements that I've brought in that we can compose with the imagery. So I'm going to go back onto my image there and I'm going to slice off the top of a head. So I'm going to distress the image as well. So I'm just going to use my polygon lasso tool and I'm going to take off the top of my head of my celebrity here. So I'm going to command an X and delete that from the layer. And then I'm going to grab a secondary source image. So I've got some prepared already. I've got some cupcakes. And place that onto my Photoshop document. Use my quick selection tool again. And then I'm going to select over the image. OK, make sure that I've got everything there and just minus out. Any extra bits I've caught. And I'm going to copy that and paste that, place that on my image. I'm going to image adjustments and I'm going to make that black and white. Okay, and I'm also going to adjust with the curves tool, image adjustment and play around with the curves tool. Okay, just to add some different effects on it there. So I might just bring it, so, whoop, so it becomes very vibrant. Okay, click OK. I can click on that object. I can press Command and T to change the size and the scale of the object. And I can move my layers around over here so I can actually put it behind Mary Berry's head. Okay, so I can Command and T. I can tilt it so it's almost like she's wearing a hat and just be quite playful with my imagery here. So I've sort of distorted it then a little bit. I can press the Alt key and I can move the image as well, Command and T, and move the placement of that image also so I can sort of recompose these elements. Okay, when you're happy with the positions of those, you can again play around with some of these filters we could use the filter gallery and maybe add another half tone to those so it matches the rest of the technique on the page. So I click OK, so I've added the half tone and the one over a shoulder. And again, add sort of more details on there. 
Okay, so what we have now, we've got a strong, like a striking contrasting background. We've got our celebrity chef in the centre, and I've also got our food elements that are connecting to our themes. Um, the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to have a go at adding some text to this as well. Okay, so I'm going to select on my um, toolbar, I'm going to select the text tool, and I want a big, bold, heavy text, so I've got Helvetica in bold, and I'm going to put the title of our project, which is food, oh, in the wrong part, let's put that on back on Helvetica, bold, I'm going to type in here, so I'm going to do caps, I'm going to write food as our title, I'm going to place that on the image. I'm going to further distress this by adding some liquefying techniques on here, some more filters. So I'm going to select the liquefy technique and rasterize that layer that's popped up. And then I can get that to sort of flow down. Add that to the image. So it's all melting into the image there. And I'm going to add some noise to this as well so that text won't be sort of so flat and dark. And again, I need to go to filters. Go to noise over here, I'm going to add noise and you can see if I just zoom out, you can see the text and you can play around with the different sort of noise techniques there. So I've got that on monochrome and then that like blends a little bit further into the imagery. Okay, so if you want to be adding some more elements to your pieces and then exploring some samples of text on there as well, please. So uh, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this taster into, into graphics. Uh, we create these uh, explorations all the time. We use lots of like Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, all the industry standard techniques here. It's all about the students experimenting in year one, building like a repertoire of skills, and then they can apply that in year two to create something more personal um, for their personal progression into their creative careers. So, thank you.